Maybe there's a Planet X. Everybody started looking, including Percival Lowell, all right, back in the 1920s. And he says, I want to find Planet X because something's perturbing Neptune. So he sets out looking for it, and he doesn't find it. Then he hires Clyde Tombaugh, and he dies, so he doesn't see the results of this. Clyde Tombaugh says, I can't find it either. I'll just systematically search everywhere. Because if you think something's affecting you gravitationally, you ought to have some idea where it is to be tugging on you in that way. No one could find such a Planet X. So Clyde and Tombo said, it's got to be out there somewhere. I will systematically image the entire sky. He does this, discovers Pluto. Was Pluto where Planet X was supposed to have been? No. Was Pluto the mass that Planet X should have been? Everyone assumed it was. Then we found out that Pluto is one-fifth the mass of our moon made of half ice. And this is why Pluto got into trouble later in the, in, mm. in the 20th century. It's not, not because we had some vendetta against Pluto. Pluto just never belonged in that list to begin with.